Welcome to Leading Prayers for Saturday the 11th of July as we reflect on God's heart for peace and justice. Jesus said, Peace I give you, my peace I give to you. Lord, give us your peace. Help us to accept the peace that you give. May your peace fill our thoughts. Flood our feelings, still our bodies. Fill this place while we pause in prayer. In your peace we are still. In your peace we find your strength and your grace to fill us. So Lord we pray that as we pause in these evening moments we would sense your peace and our hearts may accord with your heart for peace and for justice. In the name of Christ. Amen. Reading from Isaiah's prophecy in the second chapter, verses 1 to 5. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as chief among the mountains. It will be raised above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. Many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. The Lord will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations, and will settle disputes for many peoples. They will beat their swords into ploughshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up nation, a sword against nation, nor will they train for war any more. Come, O house of Jacob, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The prophecy of Isaiah is a prophecy which spoke to the people of Israel, to the twelve tribes of the nations, encouraging them to live in ways which reflected God's heart for peace, harmony, companionship and justice. It was a long-held prayer of many of the prophets who came after Isaiah, right up until the time of Jesus who lived out what it meant to see those prophetic words put into practice. So we're called to listen to the word of God as we hear it in Christ and as we sense it by the Spirit and in so doing seek to live in his ways of peace and harmony, justice and truth, that our swords may be ploughshares and our spears pruning hooks, in other words, living out peaceful lives and encouraging others to be drawn into the peace and the heart of God. We do so as we live out our lives of love, rooted in the love of God in Christ. And our prayer, let love be real. Let love be real in giving and receiving without the need Confining that 
that strange embrace that holds yet sets us free, that helps us face the risk of truly living, and makes us brave to be what we might be. Give me your strength when all my words are weakness. Give me your love in spite of all you know. As God loves us, so let us love each other. With no demands, just open hands and space to grow. Where there is justice, there is love, and where there is love, there is the fertile ground for peace. Let us pray. Lord, we ask that you would be with us as we offer our prayers. Calm the, pe the, the storms in our lives, take away the worries, and fill them with your peace. Enfolded in the beauty of peace, let us pray to Christ. For those who are full of anger, resentment, bitterness, Lord, fill them with your peace. For those who feel pressured, overworked, unappreciated, Lord, fill them with your peace. For those who feel burdened with guilt and who long for forgiveness, Lord, fill them with your peace. For those caught up in wars and political unrest and who constantly live in fear, Lord, fill them with your peace. For the desperately lonely who feel unwanted and unloved, Lord, fill them with your peace. And for those who we know, whose situations we bear in our hearts, whose cares we carry, we offer them to God. Lord, fill them with your peace. God of peace, flow through us and use us as channels of your peace for the peace and justice of your world. We pray in the words which Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may you know the peace of God to fill you, the love of God to surround you, and the hope of God to drive us on towards justice for all. 
May God's blessings surround you this night and always.